Welcome to Westbrook's Kitchen, where we believe that you have authority of your life when it comes to controlling hypertension and heart disease through healthy eating and exercise. Visit www.westbrookskitchen.com for low-sodium recipes, health tips, and video exercises. Welcome to another session of West Brooks Kitchen and today I am excited because today I have a recipe that's going to be a blessing to so many people. I got a call from my nurse uh, who has worked with me during my congestive heart failure by calling me every day. She would check my vitals, she would call me, give me encouragement, and gave me great advice on how to reach my goals. She called and said, this is the dilemma we have. We have so many clients and patients who are elderly who can't, really can't eat solid foods and, and it's cold they're looking for a cream soup but majority of the cream soup that you buy you know, over the counter has like 800 grams of sodium and that's 800 grams per sodium per serving and these cans are three servings so she said could you come up with a recipe or a cream soup that was very very low in sodium that our patients can try and enjoy to eat you know what Marilyn I'm about to do this we're about to make a cream soup it's not only so good, it's going to be warm, it's going to be fulfilling, it's going to be great, it's going to be tasty, and I'm excited. So today we're going to make a cream of broccoli soup that's very, very, extremely low in sodium. Let's get started. I'm starting off by melting one cube of unsalted butter, and you want to melt it thoroughly. After our butter is finely melted, we want to pour in some very fine chopped onions and very fine chopped celery. Now the celery and onion blends give a better flavor. Since we're not using a lot of salt and sodium, so we want to get more flavor out of our cream of broccoli soup. So we're using very fine chopped onions and very fine chopped celery. To thicken up this beautiful soup, we want to add some all-purpose flour. It's going to help thicken it up, and that way we don't have to use um, too much uh, cream at the end. Next, we want to pour in our broccoli. Just pour it all up in there. And then we're going to cover all this great yumminess and this great broccoli soup with some good chicken broth, you want to cover it to the top. Then you want to get a good mix, get a good mix going, and bring it to a boil the one that we want to completely boil. When you come to a boil, you want to add in your seasoning. I'm going to add in some black pepper. And a little Tony salt-free seasoning. After we season our broccoli, we want to reduce the heat, put the lid on, and we want it to simmer for about 20 minutes on low, or until the broccoli becomes very, very soft and tender. Now that our broccoli is soft, we want to puree it with an emerging blender. We want to blend it up real well. And you can blend it to your texture. Now I want to pour in just a little cream and we want to simmer for about 10 more minutes with the lid on. Mmm, this looks so good. I'm telling you, you probably want to try this recipe. And to give it that glamour and that extra flavor, add in a touch of shredded cheddar cheese. This soup is rich, savory, low in sodium, satisfying, and will warm you from the inside out. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you so much for joining in, and until next time, may God continue to bless you.